Welcome to Creating Disney Magic with Lee Cockrell. Lessons in leadership, management, and customer service. You can create magic too. I'm your host, Jody Mayberry, and I'm here with Lee Cockrell. And Lee, there's a couple of significant things happened since we recorded last, I think. One is we woke up to snow this morning, which makes me just, I'm ready to move to Florida. What a grief. I, I know. know. So, so that's number one. Uh, number two, I can't recall if we've recorded since we had our first world-class workshop in Orlando, Florida. It, it went fantastic. And that this was the first Lee Cockerell centered workshop that did not involve Lee Cockerell. Stephen Merrill and I taught the, how to build a world-class customer experience. Lee and I developed the workshop or the content for the workshop, but Lee wa wasn't there. So that that's quite a significant step, Lee. That's one of the first times that your content is out there taking steps on its own without you holding its hand. Well, I'm glad you guys did it. I heard it went well. I got a lot of nice feedback from people who attended. So that's what they're there for is to learn. And they did. So yes, it, it went well. Well, if you want to find out more about world-class workshops, just reach out to either one of us. Lee and I will, will give you information. But if you just want a, information on traveling to Orlando and having a good time, I would contact Magical Vacation Planner. You can reach them at 407-442-2694. They can help you plan a wonderful vacation. All right, Lee, I have a, a listener question from Dane. And I think this, this is a good one for you. And if you have a question, a topic you want Lee to address, just send an email to me, go to jodymayberry.com, use the contact form. Okay. So he, he tells us how much he loves the creating Disney magic podcast. Lee and I always enjoy hearing that. And, and he's, he said he's applying for higher level management position and he doesn't have a college degree. How would you recommend answering an interviewer who asks about the absence of a degree? Yeah, I've talked to a lot of people about that. And even I've talked to a lot of people about what else they need to do besides have a degree when they apply for a job. And, uh, you know, I think the one thing is I told a lot of people I work with, I said, you know, your resume is great, but you might not want to write a letter to just saying who you are, and what you can do for them, uh, what your expertise is. It doesn't always, you know, in your own words it's versus just your positions on your resume of just say, you know, attach my resume. And I want to tell you right off the bat, I don't have a college degree, but here's what I do know. Here's what I'm an expert in. Here's what I have. I can bring to your organization. Here's what I can teach you. And uh, here's why I can teach you this is because I've done this or that or and uh more and more, I think organizations, they want to know what you can do for them and what expertise you have. And we're seeing more and more companies say you don't need a college degree. You know, Walmart just said no more managers need to walk, to have a college degree particularly. And many companies are saying that. And uh, they're interested in what you can bring to the table. And I would be right up front with them. I wouldn't leave it for them to kind of wonder. And, uh, and uh, if you're getting yourself ready for bigger responsibilities and more knowledge by doing things online and learning and reading and whatever you, and I would say uh, the more you can say you're an expert in something and prove it, uh, that will go a long way versus uh, uh, not being able to really document that with them, that this is why you can do it. Uh, because a lot of people with college degrees not that great <laughs> so it's about what can you do not what you know and uh you know a lot of people know a lot but they can't get anything done and uh, and i always tell them you know uh, the thing i tell people i got a good attitude and i'm reliable and i'll get it done for you i don't know i may not personally do it but i'll make sure it gets done and uh, if i have to work all night or call my, a friend or get an outside opinion on something i'm going to bring you the answers if i work for you and i think uh yeah, and convincing somebody, wow, this guy was amazing. He was energetic. He was excited about what he could do. He didn't try to hide anything, didn't hold back anything. He just told me who he was and what he could do. And uh, that's up to then people decide. Uh, that kind of attitude will get you hired. Yeah. 
did you have any so if, if you don't know if you're regular listener to the show you've heard lee talk about about it but lee does not have a college degree and he ended up an executive at marriott he ended up an executive at disney and running walt disney world all without a college degree lee did that ever create any awkwardness for you because clearly you were successful without one but did you did it ever create any situations for you no situations. It was awkward for me, though, because I was always worried about it. The people, uh, I never had anybody worry about it or say anything about it or because my uh, list of accomplishments and jobs I'd held and positions I'd held and and I think uh, um, me emphasizing that you can trust me, I get things done. I'm extremely organized and I figure out solutions and no, they never brought it up, but I always worried about it, of uh, my own insecurities. And usually that's the problem. Don't worry about it. If, as long as you know what you can do and get it done. Uh, and you may want to be have a program uh, where you can talk to them about what you're doing now to continue to get better. You're, you're taking a course online, you're, uh, whatever it is. And um, so uh, that's I wouldn't worry too much about that. Were there times I wish I had a degree? Sure, because I was insecure and I, oh, they're going to see that. And uh, yeah. But, other than other than your own insecurity, did not having a college degree ever get in the way? No, never did. And, uh, Do you think anything has changed in the modern workplace? Is because I I know you've also said I didn't have a degree, but. I would recommend getting one. Has anything changed in the workplace where you can be more successful now or just as successful with or without a degree? I think you can, and things have changed, and people are more open-minded to uh, uh, hiring you if you've got some skill that you can bring to them that they're looking for and some talent. But I think on balance, if I was recommending, you know, your odds go up with the degree too. It's just kind of an entry level especially if you're applying online and people are looking for that on the resume. But uh, yeah, I think it's probably a good uh, safety device to have a degree, at least an open people will see you have it and that'll get you an interview, but uh, also making the right contacts, doing a great job and being able to list those on your resume, what you did and how you got promoted within some company that works too. So or yeah. you may decide to go back and get a degree while you're go while you're working. I mean, it's uh, online today is easy to take online courses, and uh, so uh, you have to figure out what if there's any uh, thing holding you back that in the kind of work you do. You know, if you're into IT work and stuff, if they just want to know, do you know how to do it and can you do it? And and hospitality business too, I think, has a huge opportunity where you can. Uh, learn about good service, be a good manager, uh, improve your management skills so you're organized. Uh, <laughs> and uh, there's an entry there. <laughs> if you want to be a heart surgeon, probably not. <laughs> but uh, certain jobs, uh, it's about expertise. And can you bring it to the table? And can you manage a group of people? And can you lead them and get results? Well, and I think to go back to the original question, which is how would you recommend answering an interviewer who asks about the absence of a degree? That's what Dane had asked us. L what Lee just pointed out, that goes further in an interview than saying, yes, this is this is my degree. And and I so I have two bachelor's degrees and a master's degree. I can't even think of the last time anyone asked about any of that. And right. now I haven't applied for a regular job right. in a long time, but the, the, even the last job I had, it was never asked for. Now, when I went to become a park ranger, yes, a college degree was uh, expected in the application process. The job before that as a financial analyst well, I was really young. And so a, a degree in finance is what showed them I understood numbers enough to do the job. Yeah. So I see it both ways. Early in my career, the degree helped because I, I wouldn't have become a financial analyst without a degree. But later in my career, nobody cares. It's just what what can you do for me? And Lee, is, Lee mentioned that more than once. 
Well, it is the early days that matter to get that experience and get in the first time. And then your expertise takes over after that. So it's, uh, you got to, I don't know if there's a perfect answer for it, that you kind of got to judge that as you go along in your career and see what it looks like and the kind of work you've decided to do. And uh, I mean, I work with a guy here at Disney. He's great. He's in IT. He had no degree. He became an executive, a director, and now he's Disney pays for college for you, and he's gone back and got his bachelor's, and they're paying for it. He gets all the certifications on IT. He takes them on his own. It's certified to different parts of IT work, and now he's working on his doctorates, and Disney's paying for it. So that he was 35 before he even thought about getting degrees, but he was really technically competent about the kind of work he did in and information technology. So, yeah. so what what are the the keys to being successful without a college degree? Well, I think <clears throat> the problem is you're not managing so much a business. You are people. Are you good at people? Are you good at selecting people? Do you have a high respect for people? Do you can you create a culture where people wake up more and they're glad they work for you? Uh, you you attract the best people. The best people stay because they you've created this place where they like to work. Uh, they're trusted. They're involved. They're listened to. Uh, you give them work. You include them, and uh, you know create the culture. People stay where they're happy. And the number one reason people leave is because they got a manager that's a, a jerk and doesn't treat them right and doesn't respect them and doesn't uh, show appreciation for them and doesn't focus on their their training and their development so they can have a better life. So, you know, it's uh, it just depends what industry you pick and what company. Some companies will have a different opinion of that, but I think more and more companies are saying, no, we need the expertise. We don't need the paper. And uh you can do it, come and do it for us. Yeah. Well, when Lee and I consider all the people that have done work with us, whether it's been ongoing or project based, or even when we have the creating magic mastermind and the, the wonderful team at icon park helps us out. We've never thought, Oh, I wonder if they have a college degree. It's no, can, can you help us? If, like if you're going to do design work, if we're having a workbook design, for example, <laughs> we don't, we want to know what can you do and how good are you at it? Not probably you know. most people out there assume I do have a degree. <laughs> oh, oops, I shouldn't be telling people, <laughs> but I'm yeah. over that. I had the early in securities and I got over it and mainly I got over it because every time I did got better at what I did, my confidence got bigger. And my uh, employers were happy. <laughs> so when I was more secure and they were happy, I kind of got over that. Uh, now, when I go give a speech and they introduce the guy right before me to speaking, the graduate of the Harvard Business School, and now, I, now we got Lee Cockrell. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and that kind of is always on the uh, printed material. It, uh, the others have all their degrees and I don't, but uh, I did okay. <laughs> you you did okay and you've got an academy named after you yeah so. there you go an academy and i got a great wife a great son and three great grandkids so um uh, what do you want that's about it you know i tell people all the time they said how you doing lee and i said well priscilla hadn't left me and nobody's in rehab so our family's in good shape you know you got to decide what makes you happy yeah that's right i feel blessed and we did fine well, yeah, I'd say, and you've got the covers of four books hanging on the wall behind you, so <laughs> you've done okay. I knew something, see? I didn't know what I <laughs> All right, well, if if you have a question, reach out to either one of us. Go to jodymayberry.com. That's where you can send a question to me, leecockrell.com. If you send it to Lee, he'll he'll share it with me, and we can do it here on the show. Until next week. And wow. I have one more thing, Jody. Oh, yeah. Remind people to follow us on Instagram that we have a one-minute leadership message every morning. Just a oh, minute, that's minute right. and a half. And if they want to get that, it'll start their day off right. And we talk about all kinds of things related to leadership management customer service. And it's free. And it'll help them start to get that boost in the morning of things they should focus on. And it's yes. Lee Cockrell Magic. Lee Cockrell Magic. That, that is a great point. Well, two, two significant things. One the content coming out from Lee on Instagram is just fabulous. One minute a day, you'll, you'll get a lot out of it. It's, it's add that to listening to this 
one minute a day on Instagram, 15 minutes a day on the podcast, and you'll you'll do great. It, the content on Instagram has been wonderful. So please do check that out. Lee Cockrell Magic. The other significant thing in 480 plus episodes, this is the first time Lee has ever stopped me on the outro that I can remember. We were we were half a sentence away from wrapping the episode. So thank you for bringing that up, Lee. And now this time I'm going to say it and mean it. Until next week, go out and create magic for others.